Hi everybody, this is Lance Koike. Today we're talking about deadlifting safely without hurting your back and I want to go over uh, one weight management cue, how to keep balance. This one is a really common mistake and this is when I'm letting the weight drift away from my body. So quick physics lesson. I'm gonna find something to hang on to here. Let's use this stool. Quick physics lesson. The things that we're dealing with in our body are torque. Torque is a force away from or around an axis of rotation, right? So easiest example is a bicep, uh, bicep curl. So if I have the weight, if I'm here in my bicep curl, the weight is the heaviest. If it's up here, I don't really feel the weight that much. And if it's down here, I don't really feel the weight that much. That's because when it's here, it's further away from my elbow, which is my axis of rotation. So you can look at that for any joint in the body. And specifically with a deadlift, we're looking at the hip and at the back. So if I'm deadlifting, I'm gonna to try to keep this straight while we do this. If I'm deadlifting and I let the bar come away from me like this, I instantly feel more pressure in my back. And that's just physics. I've lengthened the distance that this thing is traveling. And now the same stool amount of weight feels like stool 0.5 amount of weight, right? Feels like a little bit extra. So as I come down, I want to make sure that I'm keeping the weight close to me. If you're just learning the deadlift, don't use a bar unless that's all you've got. I think a bar is kind of difficult to learn with. Instead, I like to use kettlebells. We can use our little fruit bowl, or I guess it's a potato and garlic bowl. Um, I like to start with a kettlebell deadlift. And again, the same issues are gonna happen. People are gonna drift the weight out because they don't understand how to optimally control their leverage. So what I'm saying here is, I want you to drop the weight in between the front of your ankle, or in between the front of both of your ankles. And that just gives me a nice target to sit down toward. And now I can work on these other things and not worry about where the weight is going. I'm not worried about letting the weight drift away from me. If you got someone who just says, all I feel it is in my back. You have to clear this first, because even if you do a pretty good deadlift in position respects, if the weight is drifting away from you, then you're not optimizing your leverage. And it's not that it's impossible to do a deadlift this way. You're just, you're just making it much harder than it has to be. You know, if you don't have any weight, maybe you want to do it that way, but generally the limiter is going to be your shoulder and not going to be your back there. And you're not really going to be loading your legs and your hips and stuff. So keep the weight close to you. That is the cue for you to remember.